Hello, it's me, Sarah. For those of you who don't already know that I am completely and madly in love with Bobby Darren, I'll explain this to you again. I am so head over heels for Mr. Bobby Darren. Gosh, I'm just oh, completely smitten with him. And for those of you that don't know who Bobby Darren is, look him up because he is definitely worth your time and effort. Now, for the main portion of this video. Last year, I had gotten my first job, my very first job, in order to save up to go to this event that the Bobby fans like to call the Darren Fest. And my Uncle Scott, my magical, super awesome Uncle Scott, had decided and really agreed that he would take me to Las Vegas where the event was being held. All I had to do was come up with a certain amount of money and the both of us would go. Now there were several complications and you know these are things that I could rant about in perhaps another video but for some interesting reasons I discovered soon after saving half the money that I needed to attend the event that I couldn't go. Now I will state that this was in no way Scott's fault and it had nothing to do with money or anything. I mean, I I was going to be able to make enough money by the time I needed it. Um, it pretty much just had to do with some group issues and some other things, but we'll just leave all that out because it was about a year ago and that doesn't matter. The interesting thing was, is I had a couple of people email me privately who were part of the committee for planning this event who told me that a few of the people that they were working with didn't even believe that my uncle existed or that he was even going to take me to Las Vegas. And it's silly because I couldn't have gone on my own because I was just 17 years old. However, the majority of the people on the Bobby group did believe that my uncle existed. And I thought that perhaps some of them might like to meet him maybe even before the Darren Fest. Now Scott is here this Thanksgiving morning, visiting of course, because duh, it's Thanksgiving, and he is contemplating taking me to the next Darren Fest, which is going to be held this year also in Las Vegas. It'll be a lot more inexpensive, and for those of you who are interested, you can, you know, contact me and I'll give you all the information that I know about it and maybe you could attend to, which is very unlikely, you know, because a lot of people don't have the same love for Bobby as I do. <laughs> but, you know, if you were interested, you could just ask. But before that, I thought maybe you'd all like to meet my awesome uncle, Scott. So let's go meet him. Okay, so here's my uncle Scott. He Hello. actually exists. So there he is. Now, Scott, have you thought any more about the Darren Fest? Yeah, I think it, the the one that's going to come coming yeah. up in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, we're considering that. And how likely do you think it is for that whole thing to work? I think it's time? pretty likely. I think it's if, if I can get the time off from work, I think it's pretty likely. Okay, and would do you think you would enjoy this sort of thing? I would love. Uh, I'm a big. Um, Star junkie, so yes, big old singer junkie. So I think I would have a great time. And how do you feel about Bobby Darren? I've never been a huge, I, I really, I've never been a huge fan of Bobby Darren's in general per se. I was a huge fan of Doris Day's and Andy Williams, and I've always known who Bobby Darren was. I've always liked his music, um, you know. So and then I, since Sarah has been interested in Bobby Darren, I've been paying more attention, and I like him. So you probably learn a lot more about. I've learned a lot more about Bobby Darren from the from this uh, Bobby Darren Fest or Darren Fest, yeah. All right, well there you go. See, I hope it's gone. And I will see you in Las Vegas if I can get the time off work. Yeah, hopefully. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.